And I'm Rebecca's dad. We are writing a book together. We're really excited about it. We are looking forward to sharing it with you. And so today, to introduce it, I have prepared an interview for Rebecca. And so I have a series of questions for her. Rebecca, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's your first question. The first question, Rebecca, is what made you decide to write a book? I like, because I've been listening to the Boxcar Children, I really like that series. So why do you want to write a book because you like a book series? What that have to do with it? Lots of people like to read books, but not everybody wants to write one. Because it, I guess it gave me, I guess I wanted to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to go for it? I guess so. Okay. Um, what author or book series is your favorite? Boxcar Children, Harry Potter, and Beardsting Bears. Do you want to write a book like those books, or did you want to write a different kind of book? I want to write a mystery book like Box Her Children. Okay, great. Um, what is the title of the book? The Tracker 4 and the Mystery of the uh, Flintlock Rifle. What is the Tracker 4? The Tracker 4 are a group of kids, and, they like, and they're solving a mystery. So how did they come up with the name The Tracker 4? They come up with it at the end. And is this this is the first book in the series, right? Yes. So you want to write a whole series like The Boxcar Children? They have like 102. Are we going to write 102 books? <laughs> I don't know if I can handle 102 of these. <laughs> anyway, we've written uh, two chapters. Well, one chapter so far. We've outlined the... And remember the third... Yes, we're in the middle of the third. We've outlined chapter three. We've outlined the whole backstory. We know all the characters. And the tracker four, by the way, are brothers and sisters. And I'm interested to see how the characters are going to turn out to see if maybe they get along the way Rebecca and her brothers get along. But to introduce the characters briefly, Rebecca has prepared some illustrations. So go ahead. This is Ben. He is six. And he loves to eat. This is Natalie. She's 10. She likes to climb through holes. Is, uh, and Natalie's kind of the main character of this one, right? Yeah. At least at the beginning. She's the one that uh, discovers the great big haunted house in the new town where their family just moved to right before school starts. And she's the one that uh, is adventurous enough to sort of get things started, even though she kind of gets it started by accident, by... Um, no, disturbing a ghost that was nice and calm, but not anymore so much. This is Sarah. She's 12. What's Sarah like? She likes to do gymnastics. Anything else that she likes? I can tell by her clothes that she's very different from Natalie. Well, well I just made them that way. I just... Well, I thought she was really stylish. Well, she is. Okay. And the oldest brother Jake. is... Jake. Jake. He is 14 and I don't and I guess he likes to play with Lego. <laughs> why do you, why would he like to play with Lego? She's got a brother over there who is sick on the couch at the moment, but his favorite thing in the world is Lego and there'll be some videos about that too. Okay, what's next? Well, this is one diagram that I show. A diagram? Yeah. This is Natalie. She you can see that she has blue eyes and long hair. She also loves to read. She always has yeah. a book in her back pocket. And you can see that Ben has his green eyes, and this is just something to help you know. Okay. All right. And you've also prepared a map. Oh, you want to do the book cover first? Okay. We designed a book cover, and I will put a picture of it in the video somewhere um, before we prepare it, but it looks a little bit like this. And, we're, uh, and it will also be available on the website where the book is being published as a serial, not serial that you eat, but a serialized novel. And we're looking for it, and we'll have a link for that at the bottom at the end of the video also. Okay, really quick the map, and then we uh, have a couple more questions, and then we need to wrap things up. I'll hold the map. You tell us what's going on. Well. This, you can see that they live in a neighborhood. This is their house. You can see the moving truck. Natalie, she kind of goes down there. On the first day. And goes around the house, going down there, 
and down the street of her neighbor's driveways and then goes onto the road and goes up to the mansion. Yeah, and the mansion, she couldn't get into it right away. So she goes through the woods and... Well, we don't want to give it away. We want you to read it. So we're looking for, so really quick, a couple more questions and then we will tell you where you can read the, the first chapter of the Tracker 4 and the Mystery of the Flintlock Rifle. But first, Rebecca, um, who do you think would enjoy reading this book? Mm. What kind of audience are we writing this book for? People who love mysteries. Okay. Yes. And is this for everybody who loves mysteries or is it for teenagers or grown-ups or kids or? Kind of everybody. Okay. So it's not just for kids? Yeah, but I wanted it for kids, but I guess anybody could read it because there's a twist. Yes, and we're looking forward to getting to the twist. Okay, what's been the last question? What's the hardest and the most fun part of writing a book? Hardest part first. Uh, probably thinking up what t t the story's about and what's going to come next. And what's the most fun? Thinking up what's going to come next. <laughs> the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the end of our very first video on our new channel. So please... Comment down below. And subscribe. And the website will also be in the description section. It is wattpad.com. You might be familiar with it. We will include the link to the book and to our new page there. And thank you for watching. Bye! Was that one better? That was great.